Breaking, Trey Gowdy says Trump and his advisors don't have a clue about John Durham's progress. Hello, folks. My name is Jenna from Golden State Times. Welcome back to the newsroom. And today I have a breaking news story. This one comes courtesy of the Washington Examiner. And it says... High-level members of the Trump administration have no idea what is happening in special counsel John Durham's investigation, according to former representative Trey Gowdy. The South Carolina Republican told listeners of his podcast last week that he recently met with some former Trump officials and reportedly discussed the Durham inquiry into the origins of the Russia investigation. It goes on to say that even the former president doesn't have a clue because he keeps sending out statements asking about Durham's whereabouts and little new information has been reported in recent months. Trey Gowdy said in a statement, quote, The reality is no one knows. He went on to say, I mean, there are people that were really, really high up in government, like really high up in government in the last administration that I talked to last week and they don't have a clue. He finished off by saying, quote, I certainly don't know as just a regular old washed up former country prosecutor in South Carolina. I don't know. It goes on to say that Durham has run the politically charged investigation since the spring of 2019, which means that it has lasted longer than the special counsel Robert Mueller's Russia inquiry. The federal prosecutor was tasked with investigating the origins and conduct of the FBI's inquiry into ties between Trump's 2016 campaign and Russia. It says that while Trump and his allies claimed that the Obama administration unfairly targeted Trump, Democrats and some national security veterans have dismissed Durham's investigation as tainted by politics. It finishes off by saying that some have praised the lack of leaks as a testament to the integrity of the inquiry. Representative Devin Nunez, a top Republican on the House Intelligence Committee, said last year, quote, that it was a good sign Durham was running a legitimate investigation. Under the Biden administration, Durham left his role as the U.S. attorney in Connecticut but was allowed to continue the investigation following his appointment as special counsel by former Attorney General William Barr. Biden's Attorney General Merrick Garland declined to promise during a confirmation hearing before the Senate Judiciary Committee that he would protect Durham's investigation or make his eventual report public. However, Garland said that he didn't have any reason to think it wasn't the right move to allow Durham to continue his work. All right, folks, so let us know what you guys think in the comment section below. Will Durham ever finish his inquiry? Do you think that he has found something and he's trying to get to the bottom of it? Do you think anything will come out of this inquiry, especially right now that we have Merrick Garland as the attorney general? Do you think anything will come from whatever the, the, you know Durham finds in that investigation that he is doing let us know in the comments section below if you're new to the channel we encourage you to subscribe and click that notification bell also don't forget to click the thumbs up button folks share the video on social media and make sure that you guys follow us on twitter and like us on facebook but if you are on parlor or gab make sure you follow us at golden state times Make sure that you guys visit our website, goldenstatetimes.com, and that you guys join us on the next one. But until then, my name is Jen Goldstein, and I will see you very soon. Peace.